Hello, many thanks for joining me again on this edition of The Verdict, a program where we chronicle events and activities in the socio-political terrain in Nigeria, and we talk about them. Uh, every day, there's always one issue or another to talk about here in Nigeria. And we're not going to spare anybody, whether from the executive, from the legislature, or even the judiciary. We're not going to spare any word uh, as far as we're concerned on the verdict. And that is why, uh, you know, we want, you know, the, 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 the democracy that we so cherish in this country, we want it to grow. And that's why we're here. My name is Boyega Akoshide, and of course, I'll be your pilot on this show. On the other side, we'll be talking about one major issue for the week. We woke up to another reality. Well, Nigeria is a country of anything can happen. So, we will be talking about that after this break. Don't go anywhere. All right, you're welcome back. It's still the verdict. This episode of the program, we'll be looking at a major news item that broke on Sunday and um, it's been sending everybody else skelter. In fact, um, a particular region of the country is like up in arms against the presidency. That if you try it, something will happen in Nigeria. And you don't want to joke with the South-South. Well, it appears that the former director general of the DSS in person of Lawal Daura may be recalled to his duty post. I mean, you know, sources have told PR Nigeria that the man, ex-director general, uh, Lawal Daura, may be uh, returned to his duty post. Uh, the top security source close to the presidency and conversant with the new development told the news outlet that the man may be recalled that some powerful block within the presidency wants him back, that they are not really happy with the current occupant of uh, the office of the DG, the acting DG of DSS in Nigeria, in person of Mr. Matthew Seifa. Don't forget that Seifa is from South South uh, region of Nigeria. Now, the, the, the powerful block uh, in the presidency, we call them the mafia. <laughs> you think there is no mafia in Nigeria? Yes, there is. Uh, the mafia, they do not, they are not very comfortable uh, with the changes. Uh, that this current uh, man, the new uh, Hemsman at the DG, um, has been uh, doing since he, he, he got uh, the position. Uh, let's quickly re refresh our memories. You know, recall that Lawal Daura <coughs> was sacked by the Vice President of Nigeria, uh, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, uh, when he authorized a siege on the National Assembly and um, the People's Democratic Party had claimed that the siege was to prevent uh, the Saraki people from coming into the National Assembly so as to facilitate the APC senators to come and impeach Saraki. It was an embarrassing situation to the image of Nigeria as a democracy and the image of the present government, uh, the, the, the administration of President Muhammad Dubwari, who has been saying that he's all about constitutionality, he's all about uh, free and fair election, he's all about um, enduring democracy for Nigeria. So, uh, and recall that President Muhammad Dubwari was on a 10 day official leave at the time, and um, Professor Yemi Shibajo was the acting president at the time, and he had to do the needful. He summoned the top security hierarchy of the country, including the, the then uh, director general of the DSIS in person of Lawal Daura. And um, after the meeting, I'm told that they had a meeting where Lawal Daura was somewhat, you know, rude to the vice president, that he was only answerable to Mr. President, um, you know, Muhammad Dubuari. I don't know how far that is true anyways. But of course, you know, there can never be um, smoke without a fire. Well, from all of these um, sources here and there, uh, something must have um, um, played out. And boom, he was fired by the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. And now we are beginning to hear that the man may be recalled. And also, I must quickly say here that some people have been saying that when President Buhari 
return that it will reinstate the ra and some of us said lie lie it can never happen in nigeria that we will not experience such in the country but the report that we got yesterday is really very disturbing and is beginning to throw up a whole lot of issues even the south south uh, people have said that look if you dare try it if you try it <laughs> something will happen in this country so and i don't think that um it's something uh anybody will want to joke with now the director general the current acting director general of the country of the dss has been carrying out a whole lot of deployment among the deployment that the man has um uh, carried out uh, includes um the redeployment of director of dss in kano in person of al-hassan mohammed to the headquarters in abuja and uh, he also did that of Mr. Godwin Bassi, Mr. Godwin Bassi um, Eteng, who was moved from the Institute of Security Studies, Abuja, as director, and the posting of another officer from Kebi to serve as the chief of staff in the DG, you know, uh, DSS office. Now, others include reorganization at the headquarters, postings here and there. In fact, over 30 officers are said to be um involved in this new reorganization here and there and the powers that be well they say they are the mafia in nigeria they're not very comfortable with this and they they're thinking that um they want somebody who will be extremely extremely loyal to president muhammad Buhari. and um so many nigerians are like up in arms against them are saying look we don't want somebody that will be extremely loyal to president muhammad Buhari." We want somebody who will be fatally and brutally loyal to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In fact, the impending reversal of the reorganization is to maintain the status quo. Uh, he that left by the estwadss Lawal Daura and to pave the way for a likely return of Daura. Well, so says the report that we are reading. Now, I I'm really worried about this. Can this really happen in Nigeria? Is it really possible? that someone who was sacked by a vice president who was then the acting president in nigeria will be reinstated i don't know do you think it is possible if you think it is possible kindly hit me you know that this is nigeria but that also reminds me of Maina. you remember the Maina gate the Maina gate is, is still there We've not gotten the end, you know, the, 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 the end result of Maina. So, Maina was sacked. Uh, he, was, he was relieved of his appointment, but he was brought back.